Alrighty, Hosses, so now that we got our edit functionality and remove functionality working correctly, the last thing I want to do is I would just want to add a quick button to add a new comment. So let me go ahead and in my board, um, let's just go ahead and add it right above the board. So since we're going to add a button and still have this board, we actually need to wrap those both inside one parent div. So let me stick my board back in there and let me just put button. All right, so on the button, I'll just write add new. So we'll have a button right at the top and whenever the user clicks it, it'll just give them um, like a blank one or maybe we'll add some default text in there, who knows. And I already have some styling built in, so I'll say class name. Um, I'm gonna make it purple, so that's button info. Again, this isn't any React stuff, it's just to make it uh, look kind of fancy and create. So again, this just makes a purple button and I can actually render this out right now. All right, so there you go. When you click it, nothing happens. Plain old dumb button. So what else do I want to do? What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna remove all of these by default. So at first, we're actually not even gonna have any comments whatsoever. So whenever the user wants a new one, they're gonna have to click this button. All right. So what might be a good idea to right now is to make a function to add a new comment. Why not name it add? So function, boom, roasted. Now, actually, whenever I do this, I'm gonna add some default text in there. So we just don't have blank comments or else they'll look kind of weird. And yeah, so this is gonna be the text that we're gonna set essentially to this array item. So just like before, what we're going to be doing is pretty much taking a string of text and adding it to this array. So we need a reference to this array. We're going to make a copy of it. And then for that copy, we're just going to add a new item. So push is how you add a new item to an array in JavaScript. And what text do we want to use? Just this right here. So the very first time we call this it's going to have a string of text in here that says like, I love Bucky or I love ice cream sandwiches, whatever. And just like before, since we need to update the state, then we're going to update the comment state using the new array. Boom roasted. How easy was that? So now the last bit of code we have to write is we have this function right here. Now we actually just have to hook it up to this button. So how do we do that? Well, over in our button, what we do is we just write on click. I hate how it does that. On click, just like that, and set it equal to this dot add. Now, one other thing I wanna mention is this. Whenever you call it in this kind of way, since JavaScript can't really figure out scope yet, you need to call bind. So this is actually how you pass um, values or text in right here. So what we're gonna bind is just a null object and the default text is pretty much the text that's gonna appear on the button. So I'll write, or let me write something that's like a bacon tuna and I'll spell it wrong, why not? So basically whatever you type here is gonna be the default text. And of course the user can edit that later. So let me refresh this, add new, and there you go. There's our default text. I just didn't wanna write default text because I wanna show you guys that you can like customize it. So default text, let's do it properly now. All right, so you add it. We now have a new array item, AKA a new comment and the user can edit this. Bacon, they can add a few more. Tuna fish. And you know what? I actually didn't even want this one so I can go ahead and remove that. Boom roasted, there you go. So that ladies and gentlemen, is probably all I'm gonna do for this little note program. There's a lot more React tutorials that I'm gonna cover, but they're gonna be set up a little bit differently. And for example, you guys probably notice already that it's getting kind of cluttered having all this code inside one file. So later on, I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually take each component, break it up into a single file, and then whenever you run your final build, to build your entire program, it kind of bundles everything up automatically and makes it run super fast. So that's what we'll do in the next couple of tutorials. It's gonna be awesome, so I'll see you guys then.